Good morning. Please keep in your prayers this week John Newton, Tina Egger, and Fred Scheidemannel. Are there any other announcements? you. The goose is getting fat. Christmas is coming. So next week is the hanging of the greens. At 430, the kids will be decorating for the uh, gingerbread houses. At six o'clock is the dinner. And at seven o'clock is the hanging of the greens. That is when we decorate our church and come and the children will be singing and decorating. Come and have an awesome time. Okay, thank you. I can't quite follow that, but <laughs> um, before we can do any of the fun things that Cheryl said, there will be preparation have, that has to be done on Saturday. So if you'd like to come on Saturday morning around 9, 9.30, whenever you can get here, they're going to pre-decorate some of the higher items and some of the things that will have to be pre-done in order for us to do the hanging of the green service that Cheryl was referring to. Also, this afternoon at 4 o'clock, there's going to be a community Thanksgiving service here at our church with combined choirs from the area. So the stillers should be done doing whatever they're going to do by then. So hopefully we'll be able to have some good attendance here for that. I was just told to do all these announcements, so just bear with me. I also have copies of the pledge cards that will be in the back of the church. Kay has a nice little basket back there. If you were at the dinner last night, you know what this is all about. If not, it's just your commitment for the, for the next year of what offering you're going to pledge for the work of the church to continue. Um, and if you make a pledge, as they said last night, and something happens during the year and you can't continue your pledge for some reason, they said, you know, it's not like it's written in blood. You, you can change it. You can alter it if need be. So um, they do need this because it helps them to estimate what kind of giving they can expect for the expenses that we're going to incur for the next year. Also, my pet project, the cast Christmas items. I don't have a lot left. They're going fast. So if you would like to pick up a name or two today, I do have the rest of them with me. They're due on the um, 18th, and it's everything's written on here, all the information's on here. Also in your bulletin, there um, is a list. If, if this kind of shopping isn't your forte, there are food items that you can bring in and leave in the back or get to me, and I will get them to them because they also give the families a food bag. But that bag is for Christmas, so those items can be brought in any time between now and like the 18th. Thank you. After the service, I will be pulling for the quilt uh, raffle that uh, we have, the choir has been doing. So if you want um, the, to get a raffle ticket after the service, that is the last time you can get a quilt uh, ticket for it. So see me, okay? Thank you. I have your $10. I also would uh, like to just give a brief update on the 5K run that happened last Saturday. We were able to donate $1,300 to the Greater Pittsburgh Food Bank, and so that was a huge su success. And there were uh, several people here that contributed to that, and so I just wanted to celebrate that with all of you because now is the time of the year that it's needed, for sure. Oh, Eric, go ahead.
This must be surprising. I don't make announcements very often. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to let you know that on December 2nd and 3rd, for anyone who is interested, I am directing a show called Meet Me in St. Louis at the Merrick Arts Gallery in New Brighton. Now, I'm not here to advertise the show. What I am here to say is that every dollar collected from that show for the tickets is going to go to the Lutheran Meals on Wheels project that uh, takes place out of the bottom of this church. So tickets are $7, and they will take place once again on December 2nd and 3rd at the Merrick Art Gallery. I will be directing all the music for the old-time radio show Meet Me in St. Louis, originally starring Judy Garland. And we will be having it take place exactly on the 70th anniversary to the day. It took place December 2nd, 1946. And we will be re resurrecting it on the exact 70th anniversary of that. And next week, um, I will have a singer coming here from Allison Park to sing some music from that show for everybody and a selection of her own. So uh, her name is Amanda. She is an excellent singer. And I hope as many of you as possible can come out to hear her. And if possible, come to see the show because it's for a good cause. Actually, uh, the Rochester Area Community Theater does not keep one dollar. Every single dollar of those tickets will go to the Lutheran Meals on Wheels Association, uh, run out of the bottom of this church here. So keep that in mind. Thank you. All right, as we sing our first hymn, please uh, feel free to come forward and make your gifts to the um, Beaver Falls Men's Shelter that the Bengals have um, um, been supporting with our gifts. And so we'll do that during the first hymn. Please stand as we continue to worship. In the name of the Father of glory, in the name of God, the Son, our Redeemer, in the name of God, the Holy and life-giving Spirit, amen. The Son of righteousness shall rise with shining beams of healing. Let us gather under the wings of God's mercy. Gracious God, we acknowledge that we are sinners and we confess our sins, those known to us that burden our hearts and those unknown to us, but seen by you. We know that before you, nothing remains hidden, and in you, everything is revealed. Free us from the slavery of sin, liberate us from the bondage of guilt, and work in us that which is pleasing in your sight. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. With a heart full of mercy and compassion, God saves us and forgives us all our sin. Christ, the dawn from on high, shines upon us and by the light of the Holy Spirit, guides our feet into the way of peace. Amen.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O oh God, our true life, to serve you is freedom, and to know you is unending joy. We worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Abide with us, reign in us, and make this world into a fit habitation for your divine majesty. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated.
The first lesson is from the 23rd chapter of Jeremiah, verses 1 through 6. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock and out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his day, Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he shall be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. We will now read responsively Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though its waters rage and foam, and though the mountains tremble with its tumult, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, a holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be shaken. God shall help it at the break of day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Behold the one who makes war to cease in all the world, who breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the shields with fire. Be still. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Our second lesson is from the first chapter of Colossians, verses 11 through 20. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power. And may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 23rd chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When they came to the place that is called the Skull, 
They crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right, one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same rebuke, under the same sentence of con condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned, condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then this man said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Amen. I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Are there any kids to help me out with a message? Hi, everybody. If you were a color, what color would you be? Purple. If I was a color, what color would I be? Peach. Peach. Green. If I was a color, what color would I be? What do you think, Cameron? <laughs> Elizabeth. What color would you be? Ladies, what do you think? Any others? Orange? What color would you be? Blue? Hi, what color would you be? What color? Not sure? Blue? They're having a meeting. <laughs> What color would you be, ladies? Red. Do you see those colors around you now? Look at the windows. Do you see the colors that you mentioned? God gives us light. You see pink? Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light shines through these different colors in the window. Imagine that your color is up there in the window. Do you see it? Yes. And God's light is shining through it. Isn't that beautiful? God's light is shining not only through the window and your bit of color in the window. God's light is shining through your life, through our lives for beautiful things to happen. Amen? Amen? So you see the cornucopia up there? Yeah. The corn of copia of plenty. It's the horn of plenty. Your life is filled with plenty because Christ's light is shining through it. And that color, that is you. So we give thanks. You ready to sing? Yeah? Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ our Lord. Now it repeats. You ready? Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ, our Lord. Again, you ready? 
Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ our Lord. Give thanks. We thank you, Lord, for shining your light in the midst of our lives. Help us to reflect it beautifully. Giving thanks. Amen. Amen. See you all later. <laughs>